The season's first dusting of snow on the Colorado peaks happened over the weekend, on the Mosquito Range seen from Alma, and even at Copper Mountain. The 46 degree reading in Denver Monday morning was the coldest air in 71 days. The cause of all this was the first significant cold front of the season. We did get a few weak ones over the summer, but we should probably refer to those as cool fronts. Some of them were barely noticeable. This one dropped the temperature in Denver 45 degrees in just 14 hours. That may seem a little shocking, especially in the midst of the hottest August ever recorded in Denver, but the timing of this front was actually pretty normal. Cold fronts are driven by a river of air in the atmosphere called the jet stream. It rides the boundary between warm and cold air. The heat of the summer keeps it pinned well to the north of Colorado, but as the earth starts to tilt away from the sun in the late summer, that allows the jet stream to start bending to the south at least every once in a while. There are no records kept for the first dusting of the season, but we can gauge it by the photos we get from mountain residents. The last week of August or the first week of September seems to be the normal time. Last year, it was late, not getting that first dusting until September 12th. In 2017, it was quite early. This snow on Pikes Peak fell on August 10th. There is no connection, however, between when the first dusting occurs and the outlook on the rest of the season, but an erratic pattern seems to be setting up in the short term. There are possibly three more 90 degree days on tap for Denver in the first week of September, and then another significant cold front is in the forecast. So far, it looks like it may come in on Tuesday with more snow on the mountaintops. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.